Hey man, good morning. Uh, it's an early morning here in Colorado Springs. Um, I honestly haven't gotten much sleep at all, much rest at all. Um, I've been up since 2 a.m. Uh, and for two hours from two to four, I was just um, just rolling around in bed. Um, my mind just getting bombarded with thoughts from hell, honestly. Um, the enemy just reminded me of things I've done in the past, relationships I had in the past, patterns I, you know, I, I did in the past or just cycles I um, was operating in in the past and um, just honestly just a discouraging two hours um, until four o'clock and I finally decided to get up and I said the hell with this I'm gonna ask the God press into God and see what he says about this um, and randomly Nehemiah six ten comes to me and I'm like Nehemiah six ten. it's such a random thought um, but let me read it to you I, I don't know why I just feel like I got to share this for somebody I know it's encouraging for me. Um, it says, Now when I went into the house of Shemaiah, the son of Delia, the son of Mehetabel, who was confined to his home, he said, Let us meet together in the house of God within the temple. Let us close the doors of the temple, for they are coming to kill you. They are coming to kill you by night. And when I, yeah, I read this and I was like, Lord, this is not encouraging at all. Like, what does this even mean? Um, and I was going to dismiss it. I was like, that doesn't sound like you. Um, but I think he just used it to tell me that. Um, I'll, I'll just tell you exactly what he said. Um, he said, um, he said, son, Satan basically wants to take you out because you're standing up for yourself. You're standing up for the youth. You're standing up for the church. And he wants to do it by bringing up your past mistakes and your past patterns, your old patterns. Um, so I don't know exactly if whatever you're going through, I don't know if, if you're like me right now in the middle of the night, you just, there's just old, old things that the enemy is just bringing back up. Um, I want you to know that it's not God reminding you and condemning you of that. It's literally hell. And, he sh and because you're standing up finally for yourself, you're standing up for something that's worth standing up for. You're standing up for the youth and for the, your church and for um, the world, for people who are just being treated poorly. Um, we're getting some we're getting some conflict in the spirit, and I know it. And it's been tough. I've been fighting for the last weeks, months, and... I've just been tired. Honestly, I've just had thoughts where I'm just like, I just, should I give up? Honestly, I'm like, I'm just tired. I'm 24 and I'm already tired. This is just too hard. Um, but I want you to listen. I just want to speak this Psalm over you. I want this to be a promise in your heart this morning. Um, I just feel emotional. I don't know why, but um, Psalm 139, 5 Psalm 139 5 says, you've gone into my future to prepare the way. Now, this is David speaking about God. This is our promise. You've gone into my future to prepare the way. And in kindness, you follow behind me. And you spare me from the harm of my past. You have laid your hand on me. So, Father, right now, in Jesus' name, I just pray for every man watching this video that you have, you have spared us, God, from the harm of our past. Thank you, and you've made a way for our future. You've prepared our future, God, and all we have to do is show up. So Father, I just pray for, if there's any man on this call just, just wanting to give up, just saying, I wanna give in, I wanna throw in the towel, in Jesus' name right now, Father, you would awaken them, and they would have a yes come into their spirit, and men, you would literally rise up this morning out of bed and just even even give a shout, even just give a shout, yell, do something that's going to stir up something. I know I'm about to. I'm about to walk out the door and just go and just shout and just to go on a walk and just go work out, go run, do something. But activate your spirit and know that the Lord has not left you. His hand is on you because you're doing something amazing. And so I hope that's encouraging this morning. Uh, I didn't want to go this long, but I'm just being unapologetic right now. And so give me feedback. If this is encouraging for you, I feel like it was for somebody. Um, I love you, man. Uh, show up today. Let's rock and roll.